so you are a believer right you have accepted jesus to be your lord and your personal savior oh we cannot see any fruit there is nothing to show i'm sorry but you are actually worse than an unbeliever there is no difference so here's a scenario now this sunday happens that okay we're going to church we're all in the bus and you know bus stop stop pick up members like that like that and until we arrive at church now whatever transpired long story short is that we got to a particular bus stop and the people the members were supposed to be picking up from that bus stop actually delayed for some reason nobody knows but they delayed and the bus conductor the one in charge of this particular bus she got super fired up like how it escalated i was super surprised like shocked she was super angry now she got up in the bus and then she started to really really scream and was shouting and here's the the thing she started to use the f word you know all of those curse words and right there i was like really that's really uncalled for this is sunday morning going to church on our way to church now everybody was like no you should calm down it's not really that serious and all of that and but she was not having it she really was not having it meanwhile we had new members in the bus like first timers going to church for the first time with us and this happened and i was like if i was a first timer and this happened and i witnessed this outburst i'm definitely not going to this church because you what are you gonna tell me the leaders are like this why so can you see how your action how your speech everything about you as a believer how that can affect another person coming to christ it's that deep it's that serious you can be the stumbling block you can be that limitation as to why another person cannot come to christ have you heard people say that christians are the worst i mean that's not to say that um you should follow christ because of somebody or you shouldn't because of another but our attitude our lives plays a major part very very crucial part of it very crucial so please okay this is a call to christians do not live a life so casual you think it does not matter it matters everything about you as a believer matters so the way you dress even as a daughter of zion as a child of god please dress modestly dress in such a way that it reflects the nature of god let your speech be savored be flavored with every goodness every love in it i pray that god is going to help us to really represent him because we are jesus's representatives here on earth so i pray that god is going to really give us the grace to represent him in everything that we do amen